Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is some horrible news that I don't even really want to report on, but it has to be done. So there was unthinkable loss with more than 200 bodies of children found at an indigenous school in Canada recently. So they ended up discovering over 200 bodies at an indigenous school of children that were natives. That's right, anyone that was like a child, like could be from three years old all the way up, and that's just absolutely horrible. So now they're doing like a search all across Canada at all the different schools. And they ended up discovering more, that's right, it says that a report discovery of over 751 bodies at an indigenous school now in Saskatchewan. That's absolutely horrible and heartbreaking and a lot of people don't realize it and they try to like forget about it and deny that there is actually a genocide that took place in Canada. They figure that there's probably going to be about 6,000 children across Canada that they're going to find at these different schools. Like this is just absolutely horrible. My heart and my prayers go out to all the families and everybody that's being impacted and this is the thing is a lot of people People don't realize it but I'm actually Métis and if you actually look it up on Google it states that Métis people are a mixed European and indigenous ancestry and one of the three recognized Aboriginal people in Canada. That's right I'm Métis so I'm actually mixed with Aboriginal descent and it actually impacts me and my family as well. A lot of people might not believe me but I actually have certificates and I've been to ceremonies and awards for like Aboriginal and Métis people. I actually even went to a school uh, during a native celebration and skateboarded in a demo. So yeah, this is really horrible, but this is the thing is a lot of people knew about this, but now they're actually making the discoveries and it's coming to light. And then it's got to, people got to be brought more aware of this. Like, this is the thing is like the natives and Indian people like have been completely like treated horrible throughout like the like years. Like there was a genocide on their people. Uh, like we're just slowly starting to recognize that, which is kind of weird because we recognize other genocides that have happened in the past and are still happening to this day and what happened to the natives was absolutely horrible and we're just discovering now just the tip of the iceberg of what happened and this is like what blows my mind about like the native people because even to this day they're actually discriminated against and you know like treated differently and like in the movie industry the natives usually only play like the typical role of like an Indian like you don't really see them playing like the lead role or anything else other than the stereotypical role you don't really see them excelling in like most sports. Uh, I don't really see them on sports teams, Métis or Native people. I don't really see them really out there in like social media much or like mainstream media. I know it's like kind of going off topic, but I just had to like bring all this up because like, yeah, the Native people have not only had like had to go through like a genocide, 90% of their whole population wiped out, um, but also like they just been discriminated against and just never had a really a good chance like throughout life. And this is my point. This is where I'm leading to is that another content creator and any Sega during the whole Black Lives Matter George Floyd movement and all that ended up bringing up that women POC creators weren't getting consoles sent to them from other like Xbox and Sony to review unlike other like you know white content creators and men content creators so Sony and Xbox ended up sending her consoles which is awesome I, I agree with her 100% that all content creators no matter your gender or race you should have equal equal be able to get uh you know the access to these perks like she said to be able to get like things to unbox to review and test uh to show their viewers well she was not only able to help herself but she also points out that she was able to help out all these other content creators to get free stuff from xbox and sony and stuff like that and even the black girl gamers even point out saying thank you to nne sega and the nerd council for campaigning black creatives and getting us sent this consoles and codes which is awesome and super rad but the thing i just wanted to point out is that there's tons of other content creators out there that aren't getting any of these consoles or free stuff so i went on to youtube to find out how many native or indian creators there are and there's not too many actually from what i could see there's maybe like a hundred that i could find and in this the retrospect of youtube that's not a lot i found this website that was posted in 2018 of the top 48 native youtubers and it shows a list of the top native youtubers and when you actually click to go check out some of their channels uh, some of them aren't even there anymore their videos are gone or they're private but then when you actually check out their subs uh, they barely have any subs which is kind of weird they're like the top subs like native youtubers and none of them are really in the hundreds of thousands if not millions so that is just really disappointing that youtube's not trying to help support the native community as well
Like one of the biggest native YouTubers I found has 7,000 subscribers. And I just wanted to point out that I checked a lot of these YouTubers channels and videos out as well as on YouTube and I don't see any native or Indian creators getting free Xbox or products sent to them. I think it's really rad that these companies are supporting POC creators but the thing is is that they should be supporting all creators and it almost seems like the native creators or just natives in general like I said are like the most discriminated against and they like uh, aren't getting any of the benefits or anything at all. Like I just noticed recently that NNA Sega ended up getting like a new iPad and a bunch of products from Apple which is super rad and cool but it sucks because I'm still sitting here rocking my iPhone 5C 8 gigabyte. Rippity rip. Like I can't even download TikTok on it because it can't even update to the new like system update because it's just a piece of junk. I also noticed that you got like a laptop and a bunch of stuff sent from Alienware. So I was like, dude, that is super rad. Like I love Alienware. I've loved them my whole life. So I ended up contacting them and they ended up blocking me. So I guess it's okay for others to use their race and gender to try to get stuff from companies. But when other people try to do it, I guess shame on you. So my power went out due to the heat wave that's going on out here in British Columbia right now. It's absolutely insane. That's why I'm in a different clothes. What I was saying before my power went out, just to basically sum it up, is that it's really crazy that companies will use certain movements and send certain people, uh, like consoles and stuff like that and product, just so they don't seem racist or they support a certain political movement. And like throughout history, like even like just showing like even to this day that native people and like Métis people, no matter like what, even on YouTube, they're like, like, you know, underappreciated, not supported, like, these companies don't even support them, and, like, you know, what's going on right now with the children being found is absolutely horrible and disgusting, and this is, like I said, just the tip of the iceberg of what's going on, and they're going to discover a lot more, and what happened to the Native people throughout history um, was just absolutely horrible. Like I said, there was a genocide, about 90% of them were wiped out, and even to this day, they're treated like complete garbage, and, like, serious types and stuff and discriminate against and I'm just hoping that with the way things happened with Black Lives Matter and now things that are being found with like the native stuff out here in Canada with the schools I'm hoping that things will slowly start to change for the better and it seems like it's slowly starting to because out here in Vancouver they've actually started Indigenous Skate which is a group of skateboarding specifically for anyone that's like First Nations, Indigenous or Métis because like like I said even like hockey there's only like out of the hundred years of hockey there's only been 80 people that were native which is insane so it's just a matter of time that other companies and other people start realizing that yeah uh, the most discriminated and hated people that have been treated badly and poorly on this planet were the natives and yeah a lot of other people and other cultures and races were too but this is the thing and my point is that it shouldn't just be one race or one culture or one gender benefiting it should be all everybody should be you know being supported equally so yeah this is just my own personal opinion and thoughts you can either agree or disagree with me I would actually like to know your thoughts let me know in the comments below uh like i said everything that's going on right now is just absolutely horrible and i just thought i'd mix a little bit in there with uh what's going on with the other content creators because i noticed that the native creators uh, are totally underappreciated and they don't get any support at all sounds just like how they're treated in real life and everywhere else but anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Either you can agree or disagree. I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family, or dislike it. And also click that subscribe button down below right there. It helps me out a lot, and I really do, truly do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care, and peace out.